Hi, I'm Chris Cardona, and I'd like to welcome you to our brand new tour here on board Celebrity Edge, coming up on Talking Cruise. We're going to start our walking tour here on board Celebrity Edge on deck number two. And uh, this is going to be your main uh, way off the ship through the destination gateway. And first we're going to take a quick little stop here at the basement, which is the tea club. So something very unique to the Edge class ships is Destination Gateway and this area is uh, probably the most organized I've ever seen for getting off and on the ship. Um, if you're just walking off the ship where no tenders required, then you simply uh, pass through the security area here. There's always people on the side that'll uh, help you with some uh, beverages before you get off into your excursions and your day uh, ashore. And then if you happen to be on an itinerary where tenders are required, then you'll be able to take the amazing edge launches. Um, on this itinerary, we do not have that, but uh, here's some footage of uh, my experience on board Celebrity Apex. And that's a fantastic view. So if you look down there, that is the magic carpet. So it's now on its lowest level right to the water. Here comes one of the launches right now. Pull alongside, putting the railings in. So nobody falls over. It's a good thing. So there's just a few steps down to the platform. And, and, and here we are on the magic carpet. So we're gonna go on board. Thank you. And we are on board. So these are the uh, these are the launches. Very cool. Very cool. Now we're going to take the stairs up to deck number three and we'll continue our tour. So here we are aft, all the way aft on deck number three. And here we have one of the incredible art installations that are plentiful on board Celebrity Edge. And this is actually a kinetic at moving uh, compass. And uh, it'll give you the accurate uh, positioning of the ship. And then we'll head into the Normandy restaurant, which is one of four sort of main dining rooms that are available on board uh, Celebrity Edge. Uh, it is not uh, open for service right now, but uh, this has a uh, French inspired uh, cuisine, uh, really just a separate section of the menu, about maybe seven or eight different options. And then the rest of it will be the similar options offered at the other main dining venues uh, on board the ship as well. So that is the Normandy restaurant, and uh, my family ate here a couple of nights ago, and it was quite good. And then across the hall here, we have the Tuscan restaurant. So this is another included uh, dining venue here on board Celebrity Edge. And this one is more Italian uh, themed uh, as far as the uh, specialty section of the menu. Again, there's like maybe eight or so choices uh, that are in the uh, Italian section and then the rest would be similar to the other uh, main dining venues on the ship. And as I said before, there are four of those all together. We'll check out the other two in a moment. And one thing you'll notice is that the decor is quite unique in each of the four dining uh, venues, and it is a little more upscale. You get a kind of a sense that you're not in like a main dining room, and I think that was the, uh, the goal all along with the Edge class ships. And uh, if you are having dinner uh, early enough, in the evening, you might even get one of these tables near the window and get a nice view out to the ocean or to your port of call. So from the Tuscan restaurant, we are going to move forward here on deck number three. And here's some more of those incredible art installations. This looks like dripping paint. It looks extremely realistic. Even with the glob of paint on the floor. 
And uh, another great feature is that all of the dining venues have uh, very accessible restrooms very close by, uh, super convenient. Here's another mural on the wall here. And then up here on the right, there is a very cool feature where you, only, you, you really only see it if you're walking aft to forward, but you can actually look between these slats and you'll actually see some of the steel of the ship. And there's even some markings from the uh, shipyard in there as well. And then at the end of this corridor, we come up to uh, the beginning of the central hub or atrium of the ship. Uh, this area here is actually broken up into the shore excursions area over here to the right. And uh, there is usually somebody here uh, when the ship is at sea, um, or they do have these self-serve kiosks as well that uh, you see on lots of celebrity Royal Caribbean ships. As well as the concierge. And then on the other side, you have the guest relations. And it's kind of tucked away, not really in the middle of uh, all the action like you'd see on a lot of ships, uh, but it does actually work for a vessel of this size. All right, so from guest services, we're going to come into the Grand Plaza area. So if you happen to have a stateroom on deck three, you can actually access it right through uh, from the Grand Plaza. Uh, actually, very convenient location. I happen to be in rooms on deck three with my family. So here we are at the Grand Plaza. Lots of seating all around the edges here. And the highlight of this space, it is three decks high is the martini bar with this amazing sort of light sculpture on top and uh, in the evenings you'll get all the flair of the martini bartenders right here and if you get here early enough you might even catch this sort of love seat right smack dab in the middle of the bar and then from the martini bar there's a couple of steps up and then uh, this is still considered deck three over here, but they've got great music here every evening, uh, live performances, uh, different types of uh, genres of music. And then a few more steps up. Still sort of technically on deck three here more seating around the edges and nice view of the performance stage and here we are deck three forward and this is the entrance to the camp at sea program on board celebrity edge Okay, we're gonna keep moving and go up the main set of stairs and that'll take us up to deck four. And deck four and deck five are actually split on the port and starboard side. So I'm gonna take you along one side and then we'll swing back around on the other. So I'm gonna take you through the um, aft starboard section of deck number four. And uh, here we'll have a selection of nice uh, shops. This one has uh, timepieces, beautiful timepieces. Um, as well as on the other side, the casino. And the casino is pretty open on board deck four, so you can actually get into and out of it from several areas. Here's some more beautiful displays of jewelry. And then have a look at these display cases. Very elegant. More shops. If you're looking for a watch, handbag, They've got some really nice uh, high-end stuff on board celebrity ships. All right, and then we're heading to the uh, aft section of deck number four, and we're gonna have two more uh, included dining venues. The first one we're gonna come to is Cypress Restaurant, and I also enjoyed this a few evenings back. Very nice, 
uh, Mediterranean style. Again, on the limited selection menu, there's about eight or so choices uh, that are uh, Mediterranean. And then you have a lot of other uh, shared uh, dishes as well between all the venues on board. And again, you can see it's quite a bit uh, styled differently than the other two that we've seen so far. If you're interested in tables for two, there's plenty of those. They can put them together, make them for larger groups as well. And uh, even some nice round ones, which are perfectly designed for families. And then here on deck four, you look down and you can see the compass again. It actually connects all the way up to deck number five. And then we'll head into the last of the four main dining venues. This is the Cosmopolitan Restaurant. And again, this does have its own unique selections on the menu, as well as uh, shared dishes between uh, all four. And those uh, dishes will, uh, the, the ones that are common between all the restaurants, they will change from evening to evening as well. And here's a really nice table near the entrance. Perfect for a large family gathering. And if you're into wine, there's a really nice uh, sort of wine cellar entranceway here at the Cosmopolitan. All right, so we're gonna now go uh, aft forward on deck number four and we're gonna cut through the casino. This is one of the entrances right near the uh, two dining venues. And they have plenty of slot machines in here. It's actually quite a large casino. And there's all your table games. And then there's one pass through into the main hallway. And then we're gonna continue going forward and this will take us back into the Grand Plaza. So there's a, another access point there to the side. And then we're gonna continue going through into the main entrance of the Grand Plaza. And then over here to the left, you have the casino bar. And this is actually quite unique to this specific edge class ship uh, because on subsequent ships, they've actually removed the connection to the casino and uh, turned this into like either a sports bar or a uh, specialty sort of cocktail venue. And here we are on the second level of the Grand Plaza, or deck number four, and we are heading forward right now. So you can see down to the martini bar and to the stage venue. And then over here, we have another specialty restaurant. This is Le Grand Bistro. And uh, this one offers uh, lunches, uh, a la carte menu, uh, options. Uh, there is a nice sort of bakery over here as well. You can take uh, sandwiches to go, salads, uh, but their real claim to fame is the Le Petit Chef experience uh, that unfortunately I haven't been able to do on this cruise, uh, but we do have some footage of that and we'll show that to you now. Really great theming here. These nice uh, copper pots and pans. And again, beautiful views out to the water if you're here at that time of the day. And then we'll head back into the main area of the Grand Plaza. And then here uh, in the main area of Grand Plaza on deck four, you do have the coffee bar, uh, Cafe Albachillo. And uh, this is all specialty coffees and teas uh, that are at a cost, but they are available on all of the drink packages at various levels. And there's always an assortment of pastries, cookies and cakes here. Uh, and these are complimentary. 
And as we continue to head forward on deck number four, this takes us to the Celebrity Eye Lounge. Uh, this is actually an authorized reseller for Apple products. They have uh, iPad minis here, uh, different sort of adapters, connectors, uh, cameras as well as um, full MacBooks and uh, Apple Watches. So uh, you can come here and check that out, all duty-free uh, pricing. And then there's also a desk here where they can help you uh, help you get set up for Wi-Fi. And just so if you're wondering, this ship is enabled with the uh, Starlink internet service. Uh, and I can attest that it uh, is quite a bit faster. Not home fast by any means, but uh, definitely quicker than what you might be used to on cruise ships. And then over here we have the future cruise desk uh, consultants. And uh, there's always some special offerings if you do book your next cruise on board your current cruise. And then right across the hall you have the photo gallery. Uh, they've got camera equipment and accessories. And then plenty of these kiosks where you can do self-serve um, uh, scrolling through your photos that they've taken of you on board the ship and uh, make purchases uh, of prints or digital copies. And then we do have some more shops over here on deck four forward. These ones uh, have perfumes and then you've got your logo items, anything with a Celebrity Edge logo, including the ship models that I absolutely love and have already purchased, uh, as well as uh, liquors, cigarettes and cigars and chocolates and so forth, uh, all duty free. And then over here we have the club, which as it sounds is actually the nightclub on board the ship, but also used for uh, several other activities uh, throughout the voyage. It's a nice open space. You can see here they're getting ready for an activity in the club. And then of course no venue would be complete without its own bar. And there's a rather large one over here. This is a two-level lounge, so great sight lines when there are shows and performances in here. And then from the club here on deck number four, uh, forward, that'll take us in through the main entrance of the theater, where you can catch some really great performances throughout your voyage. And this is a really beautiful theater. Um, it has these interactive screens that will change the backdrops during the performances. And then it does have this sort of round shape that envelops you uh, into the show itself. And there is this set of stairs uh, from deck four to deck five through the theater. I'm just gonna take these up here and show you some of the views from up there. And here we are all the way forward on deck five and the top level of the theater. This is my favorite spot to watch shows, but they get a bird's eye view. So we're uh, deck five forward, the entrance of the theater. And I just wanted to show you uh, down the hallway here. We do have the captain's club and concierge. Well. So we're going to continue uh, deck five forward to aft. And here we are at the art gallery. Uh, they've got lots of pieces on display and this will change throughout the cruise as well. And then I'm just going to detour over here and show you the upper level of the club. So you can access it from deck four or from deck five. And this is kind of a little more loungy up here. But again, if there's shows going on, great vantage spot up here to see the performances. And we'll continue uh, heading aft on deck five through the rest of the gallery. And then we're coming back up to the Grand Plaza here on deck five. And that'll take us to another specialty dining venue called Raw on Five. And if you're a seafood lover, 
shellfish, this is definitely the place to come. And probably some of the nicest views you'll find are right here at Ra on 5. And then this is the top level of the Grand Plaza here on Deck 5. So you do have nice views down to the Martini Bar and the stage below. And we'll be coming up uh, later to see the Magic Carpet, but here's a really cool model of it. I wish these were for sale, but I have not seen them anywhere. And then just aft of Grand Plaza, we're gonna cut through and I'm gonna show you the Fine Cut Steakhouse. Had a great meal here last night. And this is a specialty dining venue as well. And you do have a view from here down to the performance stage. And here's the table that I had yesterday evening. Really great steaks and sides and appetizers here at Fine Cut Steakhouse. And then again, beautiful views out to the water. And uh, depending on weather, you can also enjoy your dinner al fresco out on the deck. And then right through here is an extra special table, maybe a private uh, venue for a special gathering. And onward we go, deck five heading aft. And uh, here we've got some more fine jewelry shops on both sides. So like I said, if you wanna spend some money, maybe have a lot of onboard credit, come check out these shops. And there's also lots of these little seating areas set up uh, throughout the ship. If you need to take a little break or want to just socialize or maybe play some cards. And uh, before we head to the back end of deck number five, we're going to cut through here and I'll show you the exterior promenade on board Celebrity Edge. So this is where they store the Edge launches and the lifeboats on board the ship. And we're just gonna head aft a little bit through here. But uh, you can come out here, it is open to guests and you can walk around. Uh, really great when the ship's at sea, there's a nice breeze blowing through here. And then in several uh, sections, there are these open areas where you get a really great view out to the water. And then sometimes they do have chairs set up out here if you wanna sit or lay out. We're in Antigua today, part of our 10 night cruise. All right, we're gonna head back inside and continue aft on deck five. And uh, this corridor is known as the forest. It's kind of dark, kind of cool though. It's mirrored on both sides, so it really just opens it up. And we made it through the forest. And then as we're going uh, aft still, on the left side, you do have the Blue Restaurant. And uh, this is an exclusive dining venue for guests that are staying in Aqua Class accommodations on board. And it is open for breakfast and for dinner every day. I just love the beautiful color in here. I'm a big uh, sort of cobalt blue fan myself. And this definitely has sort of a specialty dining vibe, but as I said, it's included for guests in aqua class staterooms. And now we're coming to the entrance of the Eden space on board Celebrity Edge. Over here on the left, uh, there used to be two shops, uh, Mont Blanc and uh, Tiffany. They are now closed and there's something new coming, it says. 
I'm sure it'll be in the retail uh, section as well. And what's great is as you enter Eden, you start with this sort of single story, lower ceiling, and then it just continues to open until you come here into the main space, which really just feels like you're here in somebody's garden with beautiful views to the back of the ship. So Eden is actually three decks high, but you can only access it from deck number five. Uh, but we're gonna head down here to deck number four where they have the Eden restaurant which I did enjoy on the first evening of the cruise. Absolutely spectacular. One of my favorite uh, so far uh, on the ship. And it has a really nice open kitchen. You can see them preparing your food. And I believe this is also used for a demonstration kitchen as well. But just check out those views that you'll enjoy here at the Eden restaurant. And all of these restaurants can be reserved in advance from home through the uh, cruise planner or you can do it through the app once you get on board. Uh, and I will say the Celebrity app has been incredible. Uh, no issues at all. Easy access to your schedule, uh, to see your, your folio charges. So as you can see, there's lots of seating here on the main level, Duck 5. And that brings us to the central stage, which is really convertible into a performance uh, area in the evenings. And then of course you have the bar off to the side. And we're just gonna head up these stairs. And every tier has its own little sitting area so you can have a private uh, spot for your group. And then along the uh, complete back wall where there's this amazing glass, there's actually this ramp that wraps all the way around, uh, connecting deck five to deck number six. You can get a view down to the main area. But just the, pl the place to see the ship uh, come in and out of port on the ship. So as we wrap here around the top of the ramp, we'll come up to the sort of mezzanine area of Eden. Mostly seats up here, but again, great view down to below. This has kind of been our hangout with my family uh, for playing cards in the afternoons. It's been really nice. Another sort of tiered seating area up here. And then we're going to head back down to deck five. And then back here on deck five, I'm going to take you through the Eden Cafe which I don't believe is open right now because we are in port, but I'll just uh, show you that. And uh, unlike the Eden restaurant, the cafe is completely complimentary and uh, they serve uh, various types of uh, salads and press sandwiches and they have a carving station as well. And the menu does uh, rotate daily as well. And also a lot of people don't realize, but there is an outer uh, area that you can enjoy your food just through these doors and this other set of doors. And then you'll back out onto the promenade, but there's this little cove over here where you can enjoy some alfresco dining as well. And for those that would require, there is this accessible elevator that'll take you between deck four, five, and six of Eden. That's a really nice touch. And then I'll take you here on the port side, outside deck. 
So this section over here, uh, port side, this is the smoking area on deck number five, right off of Eden. But equally nice views as we saw on the starboard side. Guests staying in suites on board Celebrity Edge have exclusive access to the Lumine restaurant located on deck 12 forward. So we're here on deck 14 aft and at the Ocean View Cafe, which is the buffet restaurant on board Celebrity Edge. They've got these great hand washing stations right at the entryway. Over here we have Scoops, which has complimentary ice cream and cookies throughout the cruise. Some of the flavors right there. Here is the smaller satellite location of uh, the Bachio coffee shop. So that's where you'll get your beverages uh, when you're in the Ocean View Cafe. Nice bakery, fresh breads every day. It's a nice sandwich station right here. You do press sandwiches, deli meats, cheeses. These dips have been just fantastic. I really love the beetroot dip, but you got tzatziki, guacamole, and then some prepared pasta and tomato salads. And then over here at the Carvery, they'll always have a different type of protein. Today it is roast chicken, as well as a Caesar salad dish. Beautiful desserts, more tempting every single day. And there's lots of great seating with incredible views all throughout the Ocean View Cafe. And it does wrap around on both sides of the ship. And then over here, all the way aft, you come up to the pizza area, which is a favorite of my family. So the pizza is made fresh throughout the day. You can see getting ready for making a new batch with some nice dough. It's gonna roll out here. Hello. I'm good, thank you. He's got some ready to go into the oven over there. There's some in the oven. And then here's uh, the Cajun Spiced Chicken Pizza, pizza of the day. And it's so popular, it's already gone. And another great feature that I love about the celebrity ships is that they've not done away with the exterior seating off of the buffet where a lot of other cruise lines have. So you can come out here and enjoy your meal, breakfast, lunch, dinner. And there's a little bit of an overhang to protect you if you don't want to be in the direct sun. And uh, we're stopping right now in port, so it's a little muggy, but uh, when the ship's at sea, this is just a phenomenal place to be. And it's quite large back here, so if you can't find a seat inside, a lot of the times you'll be able to get one out here. And then there is a uh, simplified beverage station here with some milk, coffee, uh, water, ice, and some selection of juices. And then I'll wrap you around the other side here. You can see there's more seating available up against the windows. Another beverage station. Okay, we're going to continue now and move along on deck 14 and we'll be heading aft uh, to forward. This is sort of the secondary entrance here to the buffet, but they do have another hand washing station. And then there's this little cove of seating right here as well. So really no problems finding seating during any mealtime. And here we are at the resort pool area. You can see they have cornhole set up for guests. And I'm going to take you in through the cabanas that are available for rent here. So 
So these can be rented um, on a per day basis. And then of course we do have the magic carpet, which just happens to be my favorite color of orange. And uh, currently it's situated here on deck number 14, right off of the resort pool. So this actually acts as a bar uh, when it's in this location. Bar, lounge, beautiful views out to the water. Uh, but this does actually move between decks, so uh, it can move down to deck five and uh, you can access it there. Uh, they do offer a dinner on the edge as well. Uh, experience on board the Magic Carpet. And they'll also have entertainment uh, on the Magic Carpet as well. It's a great place to come, have drinks, chill out especially when the ships at sea again the, the breezes just blow through here it's wonderful so here midship on deck 14 we do have the resort pool and it is one of the longest pools on a cruise ship if you're into laps this is definitely for you and they've got these uh, loungers that you can slide into the water if you just want to get a little cool, not completely soaked. And then we have the resort bar. But you'll also get service at any of the seating around the edge of the pool. And I really like this bar top that wraps around the end of the pool as well. And continuing forward, we come to the Mast Grill. If you want some really nice grilled burgers, hot dogs, chicken, crispy french fries with all the toppings, this is your place. And then over here, there is a self-serve ice cream, soft-serve machine. This is the only one other than the one that's at the scoops inside the Ocean View Cafe. And now we're gonna head into the solarium. And uh, this space is great because it is fully enclosed, climate controlled, always a great temperature in here. So no matter the weather, you'll have a great spot to just relax. And this is designated for adults only, but they do offer times for families to come and enjoy a dip in the pool. And there's also this uh, quite large whirlpool as well. Make sure you take advantage of that. And then over here on the other side is the spa cafe. And uh, this is a complimentary venue here. They do offer some breakfast and light snacks in the afternoons as well. And now we'll head into the spa fitness center area. So right now we're forward on deck 14 and this is the entrance to the spa. It smells really nice in here. And then we'll take you through the areas up here. take you up to deck 15 and the fitness center. You really find the state of the art equipment in here. And like on most ships, it has one of the best forward facing views.
In addition to the machines, there's kettlebells, free weights. So here we are in Antigua and you can see the beautiful views out to the city. And a real nice upscale touch are the chilled towels here at the fitness center. And this section here of deck number 15 is also home to the retreat lounge, which is for sweet guests only. So here, deck 15 forward, you do have a smoking area. Just up one from the pool. First, I'm gonna walk you around the uh, jogging track, which is very unique on board Edge Class ships, because it actually spans not just one deck, but a couple of decks. So we're here right now on deck 15. And then you'll see it start to ramp up along the side here. And that'll take you all the way up to deck 16. And then wraps around 16, right around the funnel, and then back down again. And then off to the side, we do have a couple of ping pong tables. They're a little bit out of the uh, main area, so there's a little bit of a windbreak in here. So we're heading aft on deck 15 and uh, this beautiful horse sculpture is kind of signifying the entrance to the rooftop garden. And I'll take you up there. And this is a great space to again lounge out. Um, they do have games in here throughout the day. And they do also show movies and sporting events and concerts on the screen right here. And all this foliage you're seeing here is real, well taken care of for. And then there's this carved bench that goes all the way around. Just beautiful design here. And then that takes us to another specialty dining venue. This is the Rooftop Garden Grill. I did enjoy this a few nights back liked it so much that I'll be coming back here. They have uh, several types of uh, grilled meats and fishes available, uh, vegetables, uh, some great uh, starters, some smoked items as well, uh, including chicken wings and ribs. And everything is prepared for you right here outside on this outdoor kitchen. So a little tip, if you're gonna come here for dinner, try to maybe time it with when the ship is departing uh, or ready at sea. Or on a sea day, uh, the, the wind and the breeze through here is much appreciated. Can get a little stuffy in here if it's uh, ships in port. And as I was mentioning, this green path here is the walking jogging track, and it does wrap around the rooftop garden. Actually, right behind the rooftop garden grill kitchen. And then you can take it back around again, forward on deck 15. And another favorite of mine is the Sunset Bar, which is all the way aft on deck 15. If you want the best views, this is pretty much where you're gonna get them, ideally for sail away. Um, that forward section there is the smoking section. And then as you get closer to the bar, this is no smoking. And they do have a rather large bar with friendly service. Hello. Good morning. And 
again, you've got those fantastic aft views. Down below, that is the aft eating area for the Ocean View Cafe. So from the aft section of Deck 15, I'm going to take you back along the jogging walking track and I'm going to show you deck number 16. So we're going to go past the iconic funnel so here we are more midship on deck 16 and deck 16 uh, does wrap around but you can also take the ramp which is again part of this jogging track just wanted to show you here one of the two sort of champagne glass hot tubs that are quite elevated from the main pool area as you can see the pool down there below so it's a little bit of a hike up here from the pool if you want to take a soak in the hot tub but it is worth it and we're going to head around the forward section of deck 16 And uh, this deck is actually the highest deck that you can access the magic carpet. Um, hasn't really been up here too much, and I don't know if it's because of some of the winds we've been having, uh, but it, it would be in this position at times, uh, and there would be a bar uh, available up here as well. And you can see there's absolutely no shortage of deck chair space on board the ship, uh, whether you want to be right near the pool, a little bit away from the action, uh, in a secluded little corner or nook, they've kind of got all of that covered here on Celebrity Edge. And then we're at the most forward section that you can go on deck 16, um, unless you are in a suite and you have access to the retreat sun deck. And uh, there is key card access doors available on both sides of deck number 16 and I'm going to show you a little tour through here now. The ultimate spot for relaxing on board Celebrity Edge, the Retreat Sun Deck, exclusively for guests staying in suites, features its own pool and bar, sunbeds, and loads of plush loungers throughout. Thanks for watching this walking tour here on board Celebrity Edge. Don't forget to like this video, post your comments and questions, hit that notification bell, and subscribe for more Talking Cruise.